In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. First, we want to start with Father Stephen and Father Emmanuel telling the story of this blessed tree. Then we will talk about the vetting criteria for Orthodox Africa. Okay. We need people to know about this tree. Okay. Please, Father. Okay. Thank you, Father Seraphim. I'm Reverend Father Stephen Nagula here at Nawango, Senijakuwas, Orthodox Parish. We are under a special tree. By nature, it is called a mango tree, but again, Come closer because otherwise they okay. won't hear you. It, by nature, it is called a mango tree, but for us, the believers in the Orthodox Church, we call it a molecular tree because it had done some miracles to us. Since Orthodox came to this parish, it was brought by the late Reverend Father Joachim Fola, and who groomed me into priesthood. But again, he died before we could move on. But immediately, good enough, I was appointed to go and study priesthood. And eventually, I was ordained and brought to this parish. This mango tree is called is miraculous because it has been doing some miracle to us. We have been worshipping under this tree. But for your information, we could hold a liturgy. But during the liturgy, we can experience rain coming. It is about two to three times when we experience this. Rain came when we are just performing liturgy here, and it rained all over around the village, the, even this place, all over around this place. But it never rained to us here who we are having the liturgy. Three times. So that's why we call it a tree of miracles to us as the believers in the Orthodox Church. And I thank God that I was made a priest just because, not because I, I, I applied for it, but I feel, I feel that I was called by God. From that time, it was from this tree when the Christians also obeyed me and we contributed an effort to make a bricks or put, put up a school like this one. From this, from that, from this we got, again we came to put up a, 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 a church like a, that one. Now, as per now, we are worshipping under a very good fashioned, uh, fashioned house, but our memories are just within under this mango tree. I praise God for that, because we are still, uh, we are still enjoying the fruits from this mango tree. And we hope very soon, very soon, it is coming come and bring just mangoes. Children enjoy it, and even the old people, other people, come and enjoy this mango tree. That's why we call it a mango, a mango tree of miracles in St. John Orthodox Parish. Thank you. Glory be to much. God. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great beginning yeah. for uh, this is now the and board. And also, Father, this is uh, addition. Yeah. And this mango tree, I'm called the Father, Father Emma Merukamanya. I'm the Baruko son of Father Stephen. And under this tree, I began in my education. Not only school, not only play mall, everything. Under this tree, it was my class. It's, it's my first class I sat under, and again, my first church as I was an altar boy when I was growing up. Thank you very much, Father. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, I really am, love this. Yeah. This is the boring part. Mm -hmm. So, this is the new project vetting criteria for Orthodox Africa. It's as boring as it sounds. Yeah. But, this is the first question. How do you understand Orthodox Africa? It says, do they have a false impression or false expectation of OA? For example, do they know that OA doesn't buy property for individuals or priests? Do they know that OA sponsors individual pro does not uh, uh, they sponsor individu individual projects, but they don't engage in long-term no support? support? So in other words, you're talking about uh, getting cows, right? That's an individual project. Once you have the cows, if you need, you know, let's say two years from now, the cows need uh, doc, uh, vet bills. That's not something that we would pay for. We want to help you get started, right? Yeah. So it's not ongoing. Now, if you have another project, water purification, something to do with uh, permaculture, etc. Yeah. But we go project by project. Yeah. Our whole idea is that we don't give you money that you eat. Yes. Or that you use for medical bills or that you, yeah. Yeah. whatever, yes. right? Mm -hmm. um, so. As long as you understand that very clearly. Yeah. Um, do you have a feasible, realistic plan for your project? 
We've talked very much about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have to really work harder in this. Yes, I think we have lots of ideas. Yes, we have. We but have. we have to come up with, with a, a real plan. feasible, the cost, yeah. etc. cetera, yes, for yes. having six cows, eight yes. cows, ten yes. cows. Yes, yes, yes. Barbed wire, fencing materials, yes, yes, yes. buying grass, cowboys, what, what? cowboys yes, the whole bit. Yes. Okay. So that's very, I have to say, we don't have a feasible, realistic plan yet, but we've talked about it. Yes, yes, yes. And, and I think we're on our way. Yes, yes. Okay. Do you have leaders and workers for their project? Yes, the leaders we have. First, so that, first and foremost, I, I as the yeah, priest, yeah. I'm the lead already. And glory to God that now I have a son, a real son, a Bible son, who is now also a priest. Under that leadership, we can manage this project. Not only him, I have even the head teacher. We have whom we call the oh, head of Mother's Union. The head of Mother's Union. Yes. The head of the youth. The youth. Yes. All of those can come, come here and the head of the head of that yeah. Japan, that yeah. 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 Well, of course, they, we need one boss. Mm. We need the boss. Yes, yes. of yes. course. Right. And then it's, and Stelianos has got to be very helpful here. Yes. At least as a resource, right, for the permaculture and for some. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, does it appear that you have a fairly accurate assessment of your abilities and resources? Uh, you know, for instance, you told me you tried two cows, it didn't work. Mm. But you think you can do ten cows. Yes, mm. yes. I mean, mm. Are you, is that too much to do? Is that biting off too much or do you feel confident? And we, we are very much confident on that because if we have if we, a, a, good, a, a good number, a good number of cows, a good number of cows, if we, by, by mistake or by, by, by accident, two dies. Oh, that is done away. At least we can look on the I think this question gets answered by uh, if you have a good detailed plan. Yeah. Right? Yes, yeah. yes. So we've literally had people make plans like, I want to build a church. That's not a plan. Okay, no, no, no. You know, mm -hmm. uh, what do you need for the church? Well, we're going to get some bricks. Well, that's not a plan either. A plan is that you have a design, you have you know how many resources you know that mm -hmm. like for instance you said when you built this church yeah. you fed the workers you already had the bricks you had yeah, people yeah. carrying bricks on the top of their head yeah one brick two yeah. bricks three bricks yeah, yeah. so you had the bricks and then uh bishop jonah probably at the time uh, now metropolitan uh gave you the sh iron sheeting and the cement yeah so you had a workable plan because yeah. you'd already shown yeah. that you had the initiative yeah so really um this is an incomplete until you have a detailed, yeah, detailed plan, idea. but we, I we think yeah. it's exciting that, that we have a possibility here. Yeah. Um, are you willing to adopt a local board of directors or similar local oversight group to head the project? It's very important to us. It's very important that now, but now we have, we, we need to know, are uh, these people also orthodox? Or I would prefer orthodox. them to be, yes. They are orthodox. It would be much better, yes. Uh, where are they coming from? Well, we, well, from within from our where? service. From our service? Oh, from where? Well, it would be it, uh, like a local oversight would be uh, probably some somebody in Kampala, somebody in Jinja, maybe somebody, uh, a couple people here that would be preferably orthodox, would know you and would be able to uh, have oversight. You know, you okay. make reports oversight. to the board of directors. Yes. Yeah. They're not directing you to do it, but you're going to them and saying, we've made this progress. And they'll come to you and say, wait a minute, you said this was going to cost, uh, you know, uh, Five hundred thousand, and it's costing seven hundred thousand. Yeah. Yes. What happened to the two hundred thousand? Yeah. Well, they'll ask you yeah. questions. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, okay. So you have to be willing to have some oversight. We've no had please. problems before where people really they don't tell us hardly anything. We don't know what they're spending. Mm -hmm. We don't. We give them money. We don't know where the money goes. We want to know that the money goes to what you said it would go for. Okay. And that. So we need a board of directors. Yes, if yes. you're willing to do that, we mm -hmm. work with you about what you do doing it. I'll be honest with you, I don't exactly know how to do that. Mm -hmm. But our other projects, people on our board have done that. Okay. Okay, you're talking to the dumbest board then. So I can't really tell you. But uh, I do know that that we have people that can help you with that. You have to be willing to be uh, reviewed. Supervised. Supervised. You have to be willing to be supervised. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, what are the strengths and weaknesses in their plan, in their workers? What can you improve on? What needs to change or be abandoned? Again, we still need yes, right? uh, the, pr the plan. Go. We need the plan, mm -hmm. I think, in order to be able to say this. I can't, yeah. but we are making much progress towards that. 
the plan has to be as detailed as possible. Yes, yes. You send it to us. We might say, I don't understand this, I don't understand that. Mm. Could you clarify this? And then when we come up with a plan that we a agree on, plan, which is very nice, right? And yes, then sir. then we can answer these questions more more carefully. Yes, yes. you know, for your workers, mm -hmm. you need two cowboys, yes. right? If you don't have cowboys, then what are you getting cows for? That doesn't make any sense, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a local vet that will work with you? Um, you know, and then we can know these things. Okay. okay? So really, this is incomplete. We've talked a lot, a lot that's in this notebook About here, yeah. but we really have to flesh it. We, flesh it out. Mostly you need to write a real good first draft and we need to communicate. Yeah. Um, do you already have any other means of financial support available? Are you receiving funds from any organization other than Orthodox Africa? No. Nobody? OCPM? No. Not that's, no. that's prison ministry. No. 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 So you're not receiving anything? No. 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 Receive okay. Anything. Is this group or source dependable and compatible with OA and Orthodox Christianity? Well, I think you built two churches. Uh, people love you in the community. I think we can say yes to that. Yes. Okay? Yeah. yeah. I think we can say yes to that. Yeah. Would this support be a compliment or detriment to OA? Well, I think that school, compared to this other government school, yeah. which used to be your school, mm -hmm. there's no comparison how beautiful your school is, how well cared for it is, yeah. how, how wonderful it is. It's something to be proud of. That school, they're allowing to become derelict even while students are in it. Yeah. So I would say, absolutely, if you if you are able to have this project with cows and then go further yeah. and have chickens and whatever, and grass and everything, and then be able to, to eventually build a dormitory, which we would also have as a separate project, mm -hmm. I would say, absolutely, you would be the pearl of Orthodox Africa in the pearl of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay, so, okay. so I'm, I'm inclined to say yes, that if, if you can have a good plan, I'm inclined to say that the board would be very, very uh, amenable to it. Okay. Okay? But the plan is everything. Because right now, we're just smiling at each other. We yeah. don't have enough. Yeah. Uh, do you have any other goals or plans or programs? Well, I mean, I guess you'd say dormitory, but that that's that's next, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dormitory. Yeah. Oh, you also have water purification. Wow. Yes. Water purification. And, and you're hoping to do more yeah. with that. Yeah. And you're also yeah. doing yeah. Uh, permaculture. Yeah. And you actually have somebody trained in permaculture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and he already has somebody trained. Yeah. So those are other things you're working on. It's possible. I, I'm not going to tell you for sure. I don't want to lie to you. But it's possible we could be running two projects at once. I don't know if we've ever done that. You might have a project for water purification. Might have a project for the cows. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, will these compete, siphon resources and manpower, or complement, draw attention to help their project with OA? Do you have other plans? I would say all of these are projects that that are very complementary. We talked about. You need first. You need capital. Yeah. You need capital. You need cows to build more money, mm -hmm. and then to go for other things. So I think the cows. Uh, and the dormitory completely complementary because course, first yeah. cows then dormitory right i mean if you tried to build a but dormitory you, you that would be terrible because yeah, you'd have a dormitory that yeah. you couldn't feed anybody yeah. Yeah. so i think everything is extremely complementary i think the water purification could be done at the same time yeah. permaculture does at the same time yes. very complementary yeah. um so i think absolutely you have this integrated group of things. Mm. <laughs> um, let's turn so he sees us a little bit. Is it not dark? Yeah, Can you see us? Yeah, it's getting dark. Okay, we have only a little bit more. Will their project have any markers or steps to complete to show that there is progress, that they are on track to reach their goals? Again, this is, it's most important that they hear us, you know? So as long as they hear us, and I'll have to check if, we, if we're able to hear each other. Oh, this is all about the plan. The plan, all the, the plan, the yeah. plan, the plan. Yeah. Yes, so that's yes. very critically important. Yeah. If we have a good plan, mm. then I can take it to the board. Mm. We can fine tune it, right? Now we're not telling you what the plan should be, yeah. right? We're not telling you that you need cows or that you need sheep or that you need goats or that you need anything. Yes. We're not telling you what to do, but we will look at the plan and say, uh, we think this is feasible. We think if we give you mm. uh, uh, 10 million, mm -hmm. by the way, that's 10 million shillings, not dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if we give you 10 million, <laughs> uh, then to do this it will do it, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because yeah. if we give you 10 million and it doesn't do it, then that's a loss of 10 million. Yeah. So I think, I think we have enough for now. 
uh, the very, very, very important to have a plan. Yeah. And if you can get that plan done before I go, that's okay. If mm -hmm. you cannot, well, we have Facebook, we have WhatsApp, mm -hmm. oh, email. we have email, yes, and, and we'll work together. But okay. I will come back okay. to my board and tell them I've been very impressed. Uh, uh, that this tree is the best story I've heard in a my, long my time. First class, my first it's class. one of my absolute. I am in love with this tree. This yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. This yeah. Is yeah. Your history. May God America. preserve this tree for another mm. 500 years. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. and and may and then may also God bring you cows, and then after that bring you bring you goats, and bring you Amen. whatever, Amen. and then. Uh, by the way, a little bit for this, uh, if, whether you can see me or not, this is important to hear. Yeah. They, they have a school that has about 110 students, something like that, and it includes orphans and boarders, and many of the boarders can hardly pay anything, and, so they're, and they can't hardly pay the teachers. They need to be able to do this, because if they don't, uh, they would have to eventually give the school up to the government, and then the school would become, it would be yeah, yeah. And and the whole point is the school will take care of people that can't take care of themselves. If the school and the school is beautiful, I mean the school is wonderful, and and then they could have boarders that will pay rich people from Kampala, mm. from Jinja, yeah. from whatever, yeah. and then we take care of orphans because after all, yes, I think yes. it says in the Bible we should do that. Yes, yeah. yes. right. Of course, yeah. Well, glory be to God. Do you have any final comments? Uh. Uh, final comments I would comment, I would, comment, I would make this that, that uh, we will come the uh, Orthodox Africa because we have some expectation and ever since I saw it over the media I thought yeah uh, uh, I thought of a way of uh, having you having you and knowing more about Orthodox Africa now the comment is where do I begin where do we begin? If we join hands together with Orthodox Africa, I think we can make it. And even we are hopefully that if at all we, we begin this project of cow keeping for about two to three years, mm -hmm. the, the, the project will, will be self sustaining. I agree. Yes. Uh, Father, we've already begun. We've already begun. <laughs> 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 We've begun. And, and now, but the most critical next step yes. is that you have a very good plan, plan yes, and sir. that we look at your plan and we say, we think we can help you. Then we say, what do we need to do to help you? How much money do we need? What are we going to do? Are you going to get funds in Uganda? Are you going to get funds from us? Uh, whatever we're going to do, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, but So the plan's very important, okay? No, okay. But, but I'll tell you honestly, okay? The school, you could tell me you're doing this, you're doing that. Yeah. I come here. You have a tree. You have a school. Uh, a church was, was built by your bare hands because yeah. you built bricks first, yeah. which shows you have initiative, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So, so really, you have proven by your life that you have already done things. So you're not somebody that's just telling me, making me promises. I can look at the things you've done. Yes. So there's no reason to think that you have changed personalities and won't continue. No, 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 no. Right? No. So, so already, I think we've already begun. The most important thing is the, the plan. plan. The plan. And, then, and then I really think the board is going to be excited. Okay. Uh, and I think the board will want to help you. I mean, I can't make promises. I'm only one board member. But I will tell them that uh, if they stand under this tree, they're going to believe. Right? Yeah. And if they're going to look at this church, which yes. is a beautiful church, yes. and built by your bare hands, by yes. people, boys who carry bricks on the top of their heads. Yes. Your head was about that high back then. <laughs> a little lower. I was, yeah. <laughs> not this tall. Yeah. Not two meters I was, tall. Yeah. Look at this, yeah. <laughs> he pretends he's not two meters. Yeah. He's two yeah. meters <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, he's heavier than I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. Yeah. God bless Thank you. you. Amen. 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 Amen.